Today we will talk about Panaka Multiple Rocket Launcher, developed by the DRDO for the Indian Army. The development of the Panaka was started by the DRDO in the late 1980s as an alternative to the Russian Grad multi-barrel rocket launcher systems. Panaka was used during the Kargil War, and it successfully neutralized enemy positions on the mountain tops. It has since been inducted into the Indian Army in large numbers. The system is capable of firing free flight as well as guided rockets. Panaka is a complete multiple rocket launcher system, each Panaka battery consists of six launcher vehicles, each with 12 rockets, six loader come replenishment vehicles, three replenishment vehicles, two battery command post vehicles with a fire control computer, and a meteorological radar. Each Panaka regiment consists of three batteries. A battery of six launchers can fire a salvo of 72 free flight rockets in 44 seconds. Over 7.2 tons of payload in the form of lethal warheads can be delivered by the system which can effectively neutralize a target area of one square kilometer. Each launcher can fire in a different direction too. The system has the flexibility to fire all the rockets in one go or only a few. The command post links together with all the six launchers. Each launcher has an individual computer which enables it to function autonomously in case it gets separated from the other five vehicles in a war. At present, seven regiments of Panaka have been inducted into the Indian Army. Panaka has several variants. Mark 1 has a range of 37.5 kilometers, while Mark 1 Enhanced has a range of 45 kilometers. Both Mark 1 and Mark 1 Enhanced can be launched from the same launcher. Mark 2 has a range of 60 kilometers. It can also launch from the same launcher, used by Mark 1 with minor modifications. Guided Panaka has a range of 75 kilometers. It uses aerodynamic force for canard control to improve accuracy and range. This is achieved by integrating a guidance navigation and control kit with the rocket in its ogive portion. The navigation and control kit comprises a unified avionics computer, canards driven by rotary electromechanical actuators, thermal battery, fuse, telemetry, and GPS antenna. It has an accuracy of less than 30 meter at all ranges. Guided Panaka also known as Panaka Mark II. Mark II Extended Range or MK2ER has a range of 90 kilometers. It is also known as Guided Panaka ER. There is no mention of its dimension in the public domain. It is also integrated with a guidance navigation and control kit. It has an accuracy of less than 30 meter. ER R122 has a range of 40 kilometers. It is a 122 millimeters caliber rocket whereas the rest of the Panaka rockets are 214 millimeters caliber. This rocket can be launched from an existing grad launcher. Mark III will have a range of 120 kilometers. It will use 7.2 meter, 214 caliber rocket. It will be integrated with inertial navigation system to hit a target accurately at long range. Now let's talk about rocket specifications. Its length varies from 2.91 meter to 5.17 meter, depending on the variant. Rockets are powered by a T930 multi-fuel turbocharged V8 engine with intercooler and high-energy composite solid fuel propellant. Each rocket can carry 100 to 250 kilograms of warhead. It uses contact, proximity, and electronic time fuse detonation mechanism. The rocket system can operate in various modes such as autonomous, standalone, remote, and manual mode and can carry different types of warheads including, preformed fragment warheads, soft target munition, incendiary warheads, submunition warheads, dual-purpose improved conventional munition, thermobaric warheads, and cluster munition. Rocket's maximum speed is Mach 4.7 and flies at an altitude of 40 kilometers. The system is mounted on a truck for high mobility. Panaka is the first indigenous multiple rocket launcher designed and developed by ARDE in association with other DRDO labs. It is the first example of DRDO and private industry partnership. 
The rockets are being manufactured by Solar Industries and Yentra India Limited. The launchers and battery command posts are being manufactured by LNT and Tata. Whereas the loader and replenishment vehicles are being manufactured by BML. That's it for today. See you in the next video.